is the new Reeve mobile sitting in the shade, but she'll still be coming out pretty good. I haven't even got a, uh, a license plate for this thing. Oh, nice wind. That's beautiful. Nice wind. My temporary tag. Now let's do a little uh, enhanced zoom here because we can do it. There we go. <laughs> That's my 300 to 1 zoom lens, as it were. But here's the car, 1985 Chrysler. Let's do a little jump cut. This is tricky because one, it's in the shade, and two, there's a lot of wind. You can hear a lot of wind noise. Here's something I like. It's a turbo. That means it's fast. And it's only four cylinders. Four doors, too. Gave this thing a bath two weeks ago, but you'd never know it. Revo's first Chrysler. Show you the worst part of the car in a second. Right here, there's this big rip in the, uh, the vinyl roof. But other than that, which is cosmetic, and it's like, who cares? The car's in pretty good shape. These side lights even work, which is unusual. Let's go inside the car now. The side of this car is just gorgeous. I think this is either called Velour or Crush of Velvet, but it's all blue, as you can tell. Being in the back seat, and it's just got a lot quieter. Here's the front and the digital dash, which I'll, uh, of course, show you in more detail in a second. But this is kind of nice. It's got some stuff here I'd never had in the car before. Boy, it sure got quiet. That's one thing about this um, Velour interior. Makes for a very, very quiet ride and a very quiet interior of the car. Finally got a car with some wood grain. That's one thing I missed on my Toronado. No wood grain. Your engine oil pressure is low. Prompt service is required. That's something else. This car talks to you. <laughs> okay, we are now on the full range autofocus. And we can get a pretty good uh, close up of the, um, of the dash. At least it has gauges, real gauges. There's the oil and the volts and all that. Come on, focus. Let's try it manually. Nope. Oh, there we go. Just starting to focus. Oil in the volts. Nope, gotta go on uh, auto. There we go. <laughs> oh, the radio's on. Let's see. I think the radio's on. Yeah. Good radio, good some good oldie stations out here too. The, the radio has uh, six presets. It's AM, FM, full. It's fully loaded. Got a cassette, all kind of stuff. Here's a typical Chrysler air conditioning control. And down here, something new. This is some kind of trip thing, which I never use, but it's kind of nice because it gives you the time of day and all kind of stuff here. Let's see if I can get get down here. This gives you the time. Uh, if you want to go on a trip, you can set how much time you have to go and how many miles you've traveled. Your average speed, miles per hour, how much gas you've consumed, how many average miles per gallon. What else? U.S. or metric, of course. It also gives you liters. Uh, how many range? How many miles you can go till the tank's empty? That's your range. Your ETA, which you can set or reset. Somehow it's. It's kind of neat. I just always keep it on time so I know what time of day it is and what day it is and everything else. But uh, not a bad car. You see the interior is in awfully good shape. Just the exterior is kind of screwed up. This is kind of nice because over here you have an ashtray. Below that, this is really... <laughs> it doesn't lock. This is a pain. Here's a storage thing where I keep my tapes and down here is a cup holder. 
all the way on the floor. Sorry about shaking the camera so much. But it's not exactly balanced on my shoulder. So there's our nice digital dash. Uh, what else? We have window controls here. has power windows and uh, remote mirror control. And of course the seats recline all the way, which is nice. Of course when a door is open it shows you right here on the message center. Which is also nice. A car that has a gas cap release and the trunk release on the floor. Which is uh, European style or Japanese style or whatever style you want to call it. So, that's Reed Mobile number 10. My first Chrysler, an 85 New Yorker, loaded, which we only paid two grand for. So, all the repairs notwithstanding, I think we did okay. <laughs> At least I hope so. No rust, of course. Cars don't rust out here. That's why it looks so good. So, there you have it. See you later. There's one thing I almost forgot in this car. One thing that we're missing. And that's way up here on the ceiling. I actually have two things up here. One is an outside temperature readout. And the other is a digital compass. <laughs> Shows which way the car is facing. Which is kind of neat. Yeah, it's only 93 out right now. And this can also be changed to English or metric. But that, that's kind of neat. And you can turn the display off if you want. Another view from the back seat. We have two of these armrests that go down independently. Both of the front seats can move independently. They can uh, recline, tilt, whatever you want. So, let's try again. Ray Glasser here on May uh, is it the 28th today. Saturday. 1994. Bye.